What's up, YouTube? Today is going to be a little bit different of a topic. I've been recently introduced or reintroduced to a cryptocurrency called Ethereum. And Ethereum came back to my attention after I saw a fairly large price increase. Ethereum is like silver where Bitcoin would be gold. So they do share some similarities. I've had my eye on cryptocurrencies for a while, but the high price has always kind of kept me away. Originally, when I started stacking, I also invested in Bitcoin, which I ended up selling to buy some actual metal. What I ended up missing out on was a steep rise from Bitcoin to go from 400 to 1100 where you see it now. This got me looking into the more recent alternative Ethereum where the price went from $15 up to $50 and now is about $45. Rather than buy Ether directly, I went to Amazon and bought some pieces to upgrade my current computer because it wasn't that much to upgrade. But once I did it once, I ended up buying another card, which you'll see a little bit later. In this particular case, I got a Radeon RX 480. This was the main card that I'm going to use to mine Ether, so I don't actually have to buy it. I can just make it. This makes it a little bit cheaper because basically I don't have to, the profit goes into getting Ether. I'll show you how profitable it is a little bit later. The only question is if I can make my money back fast enough before they switch protocols to proof of stake. Whereas right now everything is being mined through these computer cards. Here's a look at the actual graphics card. It is a beast, but considering what I had in my computer, this one's actually more power efficient meaning it uses the same juice with four or five times the processing power. So either way, I get a discounted graphics card and I can play games. Here it is inside the system or my old card. You can see it uses two eight pins. I pull that out. I put in the new one and I fire it up and I start test mining. You might remember this video card from when I replaced the fans. So that one cost me 10 bucks and it held on its own. I probably should have gotten it before and I would have started mining before, but I didn't really know about it. I pr things you learn along the way. So this video card replaces the old one, which was like 35 bucks. So I'll, I'll sell that, subsidize the current card, and lower my overall cost. It's all kind of the same. I'll put it up on eBay. Once it's in, I'll run some basic pass mark tests to check the performance and get a baseline of how fast it is compared to my other card. The thing with these cards is you can overclock them and make them faster. In particular, you can increase the memory megahertz and that will help it produce more ether faster. The term they use in crypto mining is the hash rate. By default, the hash rate for this card is 24 mega hashes per second. And after tuning, I was able to get it up to 29 mega hashes per second. It took me a couple of days to find out the right configuration to make the system stable where it wouldn't crash and the highest performance at the lowest wattage that I could get. This includes finding the right BIOS flash and driver combo where the catalyst drivers would work with the BIOS mod. I also tried different mining software and you can see where my effective hash rate is and how me tinkering with it. So when I was mentioned earlier, this is the profitability matrix of just leaving the computer on and that's how much I would generate roughly per month. You enter in the cost of electricity and the cost of uh, how many watts it's currently using. After playing with it a little more I decided to get another card and try my luck because I saw a sale on a card that would actually cost 180 after the the mail-in rebate. So between the two cards it was roughly 400 for two cards and I'm making 80 bucks a month, so in five months it should pay for itself. The profit is of course based on today's value, so it could change over time, but I am just testing out the software, I'm testing this out. I figure it's a decent alternative to diversify my holdings in PMs with some digital currency. This being, like I mentioned earlier, the equivalent to silver in the crypto world. The reason why I'm looking into Ether in particular is because there are some problems with Bitcoin that Ether, e Ethereum is trying to solve. And after following them a little bit, I'm willing to pace, place a little bit of a gamble or a little bit of a bet on this technology. Since it's cheaper than Bitcoin and if it can replicate any a percentage of Bitcoin, I'm, I would be pretty happy. 
Here's a look at the stats after I added the second card and you can see that my rate has doubled. So here's a look at what I've earned to date and where I'm currently at. It, I think it's been about four or five days just leaving the computer on. I don't really have to do anything. And this is what I stand to earn in a month without doing anything. So this is what I figured would be an easy way to get my feet wet into the cryptocurrency ether and try it out. There was a little bit of a capital cost, but it's something that I would have done anyway to upgrade my computer from where it was. So it wasn't that big of a deal. The only running cost is the cost of electricity, which I can consider dollar cost averaging in. So it's just a different way to add some digital currency to the overall portfolio. I don't have a big position in crypto, but I do want to start building a position so that in the future, if it does grow and the technology grows, that I don't miss the wave because getting in early is better than getting in late. Just to be clear, my purchase of Ether isn't exactly a bet on the currency, but more on the technology, more like a stock than it is a method of preserving wealth. Let me know what you think of the comment section below and thanks for watching.